welcome back to another video and in this video um it's different to my other things this is a tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make a calculator in python and um i don't know if you're fam familiar with python but python is this um programming language that you use to create programs and make stuff and this is like quite a simple tutorial i can explain stuff on the way i won't go too deep into the details but I'll show you like the main thing and how to make a calculator and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the main code on calculator.py python and this is the simple code as you can see here print um these are some like um essential functions you have in python like if elif else if um variables print um using variables and yeah let's get started with the code let me just create a new document here and yeah so first of all in this calculator you can print whatever you want to like for example i like saying i would like to say print um yeah just saying you have to always put a bracket then a quotation mark um um let's say welcome welcome to the the calculator and you have to put a quotation mark in a bracket again hold on and a quotation mark again okay i don't know what happened but anyways okay so now we type uh, func func function equals um equals input let's say um function dash um multiplication division addition 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 subtraction okay then so so um then num2 number two the second number that they're gonna type out do the same thing int input and all we need to do here is just do enter your second second number um bracket and then a bracket again because uh, we did that and now so far when we run this code these are, are just variables variables and or when you create something create something and you store code in it so num1 funk and fu number two are all variables with these lines of code stored in it so when i run this module i do save so i'm just going to save it as calculator 2 um when i run it all it does is print welcome to the calculator um enter your first number um and then it's going to say enter your second number because we haven't done the real code so the real code is going to start right now where we um define the actual functions of multiplication division um, uh, um subtraction and multiplication and um so what we have here is quite simple just variables and yeah okay so now um do if um function equals equals um addition okay so what we did here we're saying if this variable if the if what they typed is addition so if they typed addition it's basically saying okay we're gonna do an addition equation so if um the function is addition let's say answer answer equals num1 plus num2 because they said uh because they said that um they they said plus so we have to add number one that they typed and number two then what we, all we have to do is print why am i doing this? okay print a an answer okay so we print the answer and since um this um answer is already a vari variable we don't need these so now we do so what we basically did here it if they type 
it, um, a number, and then if they type addition, then we're going to add your number to your second number. So let's say if the function equals, so equals equals again means like if, so like if the function is equal to, so like if they type, um, let's say if they type subtraction, then what we have to do here is and um, equals num1 subtract number2. And what we do here, again, we do print answer. Now, if we run this module real quick, all it's going to say is, welcome to the calculator. So let's just say 21 function. All we have here is addition and subtraction. So let's just do subtraction. Enter your second number 7. Now I did 21 minus 7, and it said, okay, I'm going to do that. And 14. So we're making progress here. Now we do if function equals equals func function is equal to division, okay, division, then say the answer is equal to num1, num1 divided by number 2. Um, and then you do print answer. So now you're starting to see a pattern here. And I just forgot to say, you do elif instead of if, because there it's, um, it's more clear if you do this. Plus, you're going to learn a new function. Elif is basically else if. So you can put one thing, then you can do else if this one and else if this one. And then finally, we have the last one, multiplication. So then we do elif function is equal to multiplication. Okay, then we do answer. So now you can you can see where I'm going with this. You can even start writing the code on yourself by yourself. The answer is equal to number one times number two. Simple. Now we do print um answer. And that is all that is all so this is all the calculator this is the calculator so as you can see run let's run this so welcome to the calculator enter your first number 56 um function let's say multiplication um let's say one we know two and we know that the answer is going to be 112 and look it says 112 now, you can run this module again and do anything you want. You can do like blah, 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 random number and then you do divided by um, 65 and it's going to give you a really um, precise answer. As you can see, 10,377 point blah, 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 all, the, all those digits. And this is all the pi. So now I'm going to review all the codes once again so you can... Um, see why we wrote all these okay so we did print which is basically saying okay say welcome to the calculator then we're saying we're making we're creating a variables variable so number one is equal to print um and we put in int input because they're going to enter a number and we have to store that number that they put in this variable. So number one is what they typed. We have to store the, that the number they put. Then we let's we define function. Function is just input and then all the functions, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Then we do number two, same as number one. Um we store their number in number two. Then we did if function is it if if the function that they typed is addition then the answer to it is number one plus number two because they did a plus and then you print ants because pr print print is very useful because what when you use print it's basically print you, you're saying um print the answer num one and num two so it's basically saying print the number they typed adding the other number they typed. Then else if the function is subtraction. Else if, so else, if it's subtraction, same thing. Answer equals num1 minus number 2, and then print the answer. And we can use answer again and again because we're using them 
um, in different things. If because if the function is addition, subtraction, print answer, then we do it again here. Number number one divided by number two, and then we do it again. Answer equals number one multiplied by number two, and that is all. This is a simple calculator. Let me just do it once again. Run. Welcome to the calculator. Um, enter your first number, 21 um, times 6. And it says 126, which is absolutely right. And that is how you make your calculator in Python. Um, and yeah. And as always, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you learned or like enjoyed this tutorial. And for the people who are familiar with Python, this may be a relatively like simple program, um, but in, like a really useful program. And for the new people in Python, this may be a great first program to make. And if you're new, you could um, play around with the code once you learn more about it. And and you can just play around with the calculator. Also, um, if you guys want to skip the tutorial or maybe go to timestamp 837 where I review the code and you don't need to see me type all the code, but you can just see me um, explain all the code. If you go to timestamp 837, you can just watch that. And in the link in the description, I'm going to put the full code of the calculator. So maybe if you want, you can just copy and paste it, watch Time stamp 837. See like why we put the code so you can understand a bit of it. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.